Hey guys, you're watching Droid Crunch. I am Lokesh Kapoor, and in this video, we are going to see in action how we can create a section where we can change the images as we hover on the elements. These elements can be sections, these can be inner sections, this can be widgets or even containers. So we will take a look how we can do that. For the images and content, we are gonna look at this website that's surfshark.com. It's a VPN and this is probably one of the best VPN that allows you to you know uh, surf the internet and it um, blocks the annoying ads, banners, trackers and all of these things and it lets you you know surf the websites which are blocked in your countries and there are many things that you can do with this VPN and one of the best thing about this VPN is that it is very very affordable so you can start using this VPN from the day one without having to you know pay a lot of amount like other VPN as a charge so we're gonna use uh, these sections this clean web multi hop and this quirky pop-up blocker so let us see how we can do that first of all I will just add a container here okay let's use this row container okay so this is our main container let's have a couple of more containers inside this container so here it is let's duplicate this one okay now we have these two containers one on the left side and one on the right side and on the left we will be dropping one more container let's have some margin for this container okay so that we can separate it from its parent container and let's give it a little bit more, more margin this is enough i guess perfect and now let's have some content for example this clean web let us copy this and have it inside a text widget here clean web okay for the sake of saving some time i have already downloaded all these images in my media library these are SVG images okay so I will drag and drop these images right there okay I can probably put them in one more container but it's not useful because I will not need it okay so let us choose an image for the clean web so this is clean web let's insert it right there and let's duplicate it and duplicate it one more time for this image I will replace it with this multi hop and replace this one with this cookie pop up blocker ok now let us have the content this one right there let's copy it and have a text editor widget and let's paste this one let's reduce the size of our text okay so it, it looks pretty better and let's reduce the size of this one as well now it looks pretty good I guess we can also reduce some margin from the top and from the bottom as well I don't know why it is so okay so now we can also give it some mar padding okay this one looks good and we can give it some border radius and we can have a solid border as well okay like this so what we will be doing we will be making this border as a uh, solid when we hover on it so that we may know like where we are actually right so for example let us just change its width 4, pic four pixels from all sides and when we hover it we also get some width okay we can also change the width when we hover but it will uh, give a very bad experience so this one looks good i guess for okay now what we need to do we just need to change the color when we hover as well okay so for that purpose i will give it a light color for this element i can choose the color from the images as well probably we can choose yeah. this color when we haven't choose the any section okay and when we choose the section we can choose a darker color like this one okay so like this looks perfect now we can also reduce the transparency of this color as well 
okay for example we can say this and for this color we can also reduce like this okay so when we hold on them the color gets a little bit darker right so for that purpose let us choose a color that is darker we can for example choose this color and copy it okay now we have copied the color and we will be using it when we hold on the container so let's cop click on this container and go to advanced and here go to custom css and here we can type in selector hover and we can say this is h2 element so when we hold on this element the color the text color gets this one okay but it is not working when we hover the selector is it h2 let us confirm yeah it is h2 and when we hover the h2 gets this color okay i think it is because of the because of the css specificity so when something doesn't work we can use the important so that we can change the specificity and make it important regardless of the specificity okay so now it is working and we can also change the color of this as well and say selector hover p okay so now it looks like this looks very clean and good now we have one container let's duplicate it we have two containers and let's duplicate this now we have three containers okay and what is missing this uh, margin is very much right so we can say the bottom margin is less okay and top margin is also less paste style looks good and now we can go on this container click on this items and you can choose the element cap okay now you can trace it looks good to me pretty much and now we can go to this container and set the items and basically this is row and this is column layout okay so we can justify it center okay then there is only one picture and also we can make it center from here as well for the horizontal alignment right now we are done with the design and everything now what we need to do we need to do some functions so that whenever we hover on any of these elements these images would be swept or would be changed accordingly so let's first change the text here as well okay and here it is as well for cookie and yeah looks good now i guess we are done so this container let's give it an id we are gonna give it uh, t1 that is what trigger one t1 you can say it t2 and this one t3 okay so these are our triggers now let us go to this image let's give it a class called data you can give it any class but give it the same class to all of these images i am giving data to all of these images okay now i am done with it now just click on this make sure you have installed dynamic visibility plugin go to visibility and enable it use keep html go to events and choose mouse over an event and trigger use the jquery selector format and type in the trigger that you want for this image so when the t1 is pressed is mouse hovered this image will be shown so animation i will choose none and hide other elements i would choose dot data because data was the class and selector is dot and 
that's it i can also choose this on page load option to be enabled if i want this first image to be opened as the website is loaded so we'll keep this for only one first image now let's go to the second image and keep visibility on keep html on go to events go to mouse over trigger is t2 okay in this case go to none hide other elements dot data and that's it for the second one go to third image same process just visibility keep html go to events go to mouse over and trigger is now t3 okay and show animation is none hide other elements dot data we are good to go let's update this page and preview it and boom we have done it in just one go and it's working perfect if you reduce the size of this image or probably choose other dimensions for this image custom size then it, it would look much better i guess but for now for these two you can see how well it is working for the hover and as well as for the image changes and there is no lag and yeah that's it so if you want to make these sections you can follow this tutorial along with me i hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to watch more videos like this please subscribe to our channel if you are new please hit the bell icon so you get notification whenever i upload new videos and see you in the next video thank you so much for watching have a great day stay blessed stay happy bye bye